Unveiling the meaning behind, rotten to the core. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase that you might have heard in movies, songs, or even in casual conversations, rotten to the core. This expression is rich in imagery and meaning, and understanding it can really help you grasp the nuances of the English language. Let's peel back the layers and discover what it truly means to be rotten to the core. Rotten to the core is an idiom that paints a vivid picture. When something is rotten, it means it's decayed, spoiled, or no longer good. But the phrase doesn't stop there. It adds to the core, which is the very center or the most essential part of something. So, when you combine these two, the phrase describes something or someone that is thoroughly bad, corrupt, or evil in every aspect. Not just on the surface but all the way through to their very essence. The idiom, rotten to the core, has been used in English for centuries. And it taps into a powerful image of decay and corruption that is complete and pervasive. It's often used to describe not only individuals but also organizations, systems, or entities that are viewed as fundamentally corrupt or immoral. This phrase can be found in literature, politics, and everyday speech, showcasing its versatility and the strong condemnation it conveys. To help you better understand how to use, rotten to the core, let's look at a few examples. The company's management was rotten to the core, engaging in illegal activities and unethical practices. Despite his charming exterior, he was rotten to the core, deceiving everyone around him. That political party is rotten to the core. Their policies and actions harm society. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various contexts, highlighting the complete lack of moral integrity in the subject being discussed. Rotten to the core is a powerful expression that helps describe situations or characters with deep-seated corruption or evil. It's a phrase that captures the imagination and conveys a strong message about the nature of something or someone. We hope this exploration helps you understand and use this idiom more effectively in your English communication. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the fascinating world of English language learning. See you in the next video.